Decisions made in secret, that's what the NAACP says, led to the UNC Board of Governors firing former System President Tom Ross and hiring former Bush administration official Margaret Spellings, who kicks off her tenure one week from today. WNCN's political reporter Bo Minnick has been digging into the decision-making process. And Bo, what did you learn? Sean, the NAACP is filing a public records request to try and get those answers. They say Spellings is not right for the job, and they say the Board of Governors needs to change its ways. I'm asking others in the community, my fellow students here, and anyone to fight the hiring of this woman. A fight that the NAACP is taking directly to the headquarters of the UNC system. Yo, sign this up the top. A lawyer with the North Carolina NAACP delivered a public records request to UNC General Administration looking for the details about the Board of Governors parting ways with Tom Ross and hiring Margaret Spellings. Margaret Spellings talks about students as customers. There have been demonstrations at recent Board of Governors meetings and at the last meeting, even arrests. At the board retreat in Greensboro, Spellings choked up, speaking about the demonstrations against her hiring. I've been surprised at the intensity of the reaction. Those opposed to her hiring say it was too political. They've criticized her record, which includes overseeing the launch of No Child Left Behind and serving on the board of a company that collects student loan debt. Spellings is a former U.S. Education Secretary under President George W. Bush. The BOG and the individuals who hired her, as well as Margaret Sperlings, has not been held accountable. The UNC system told us the presidential search process adhered to Board of Governors policy and to state law. The NAACP, though, says they want the information about what went into the decision to change the leader of the UNC system. We just want to know what, what the truth is. One of the things that Spelling said a little more than a week ago is she welcomes the opportunity to hear from people who are against her hiring. Ahead at 7, I ask opponents today if they did get a chance to talk with her, what would they want to know? Sharon? Oh, right now, a debate.